Welcome everybody to another motocross action video. I'm Josh Mosman and I am very excited about this hunt because we are putting the 2023 KTM 300 SX up against the Husqvarna TC 252 stroke. <laughs> So which bike is better for you? The all new 300 motocross specific two stroke or the 250? It's gonna be a lot of fun today. These are all new bikes for us. We got map switches on these things, fuel injection. So no more carburetors, no more jetting, no more air screws. We also have electronic power valves in both of these bikes as well. So 300 is a brand new bike for us. We've ridden it a few times in pre-production form. First rode it at Redbud. Now we finally have the production form, what you'll be buying at the dealerships. Before it was always on pre-production mapping is what they had us test out. TC250, KTM300, which one can we get faster lap times on? Which one is easier to ride? Which one is more fun to ride? And which one is best for you? We're gonna try to answer those questions in this video. <laughs> Talking a little bit about the differences between KTM and Husky. First off, the price point. Very, very similar, but the KTM 300 with that extra 50 cc's inside of the cylinder, this thing retails for $9,199. With the TC250 from Husqvarna, it retails for $9,049. Also, talking about just a couple little specs that are different. The biggest difference is the closed off air box. With this KTM, you have a full Superman seat grab handle basically right here with air going straight into the air box, where on the Husqvarna, this same spot right here is closed off and uh, makes it for a little bit different power character between the two brands. Also, the seat cover is a little more grippy on the KTM. I actually preferred that today, talking about stock seat covers. However, my first mod to any motorcycle is always to put a gripper seat cover on there from Guts Racing, but stock seat covers, KTM definitely wins. Both bikes have ODI lock-on grips, but the KTM has non-branded necken handlebars where the Husqvarna comes stock with Pro Taper Husky Bend handlebars, which are also a little bit flatter and just a little bit wider. And I like those bars as well. Both bikes come with Dunlop MX-33 tires. And other than that, the specs are pretty much the same across the board besides aesthetics.
So the handling department, thumbs up goes to KTM today, held up better for us and overall was better suspension for us today. However, I do wanna put the disclaimer out there that if we spent more time testing and dialing in the suspension settings on both bikes, I promise you that we would get more comfortable in the Husky. Still, softer valving is what it feels like, better towards vet riders, better towards novice riders, where KTM is more the race ready brand. A little bit better for us pro riders today and more tailored to intermediate riders. One quick note about handling on the two bikes, both of them handle a lot lot more plush and a lot more forgiving than the KTM and Husky 450 four strokes for 2023. If you guys watch those videos or read those articles that we have in Motocross Action Magazine, we talk about the 10 hour rule, not the 10,000 hour rule, the 10 hour rule. That's what you need to do on your KTM, either factory edition or 2023 stock bike. KTM and Husky, they're super, super stiff, especially the 450 four strokes. The new chassis that they have, the new swing arm, new subframe, new suspension, it takes a long time to break in 10 hours. Honestly, that is way, way, way too long. Most people will be frustrated with their motorcycle and most will probably sell it before 10 hours. But if you make it to that 10 hour mark, your 454 stroke will feel a lot better. Good news is the 300 SX, the TC 252 strokes, these things with the softer suspension valving, with the different energy of a two stroke engine coming on power wise rather than a 454 stroke, the combination of those two plus being lighter just makes these things handle a lot more plush, a lot more forgiving right out of the the showroom floor. Now, let's talk about the fun part of this video. Which bike was I faster on lap time wise? Now, this is my favorite part of any video that we do lap times on, especially versus videos. We get the nuts and bolts about each bike, ride them in their bone stock form. Then we grab the lap timer and put me on the clock and see which bike I can go fastest on. I love doing this. Today, I went out on the TC250 first. I got a good lap time in, and then I went out on the KTM 300. I beat my TC250 by two seconds. KTM 300, I got a two flat point .42. I said two seconds, that's a pretty big gap. Let me go back out on the TC250, see if I can get any closer. I went back out on it, I got a 201.25, so just under a second slower on the TC250 today. That's pretty close, but honestly, a second is a lot in motocross. You're pulling away a second each lap, that's a, a good sizable gap after a 20 minute moto. The KTM 300SX wins this versus video, wins this little mini shootout that we did here today. Yes, I am a pro rider, a vet rider, novice riders might be a little more comfortable on the TC250. However, with this 300, it's forgiving. You can roll it on out of the corners, get right into the power, a little bit easier than you will on the 252 stroke. Going up the hills here at Glen Helen, it was a lot easier to carry momentum. And then a big portion of it was also the suspension. With it getting rougher later in the day, the KTM 300 held up a little bit better, where it was a little more harsh on the TC250 today. Bonus, we also had Ezra Lewis, MXA test rider, do some lap times. He was two seconds slow lower on the TC252 stroke. So that goes to show both of us like the KTM 300 today. Yes, the track was not super rough. If it got super, super rough, maybe we'd do better on a 250, but 300, we could really let it sing today at Glen Helen. It was a lot of fun riding these bikes. A lot of fun going head to head with my good buddy, Ezra Lewis.
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said at the top of the video, uh, we will have single bike tested videos where we go more in depth about each model coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to Motocross Action Magazine so you can get it shipped to your front door every month. We are excited to uh, continue pressing forward and uh, looking forward to putting more time on these bikes and also testing more products like pipes, silencers, and different things like that on the new KTM and Husky. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.